So let's start our second part of this video tutorial, which is a configuring Cache Refresh in Glue Server. First, I'm going to log into my Glue Server, which we just installed, to show you this demo. I'm logging in there uh, with the default user, which I created uh, during installation. So let's do it. This is our mm, test glue server. Now that I'm in, I'm going to navigate uh, to the configuration section and click on cache refresh. So for our primary job, we need uh, just three sections shown here among four. The first is uh, cache refresh and the second is customer backend key slash attributes and the third is uh, source backend. Let's uh, let's start with the second uh, second one, customer backend. The first thing uh, to consider is the uh, key attribute. This is the primary attribute of your backend LF server. As for example, the most popular Active Directory primary key is SAM account name. If um, if your primary name is SAM account name, then you need to put it here, or it it varies from organization to organization. For our case, it's a UID or username. The second piece of information uh, you will need to enter is the object class. For this, you need to provide the proper object classes here to pull user's information properly. For our case, uh, the only object class is person. Next is a source attribute. This is a list uh, which we are going to pull from our backend directory server. So for now, we are pulling a very simple couple of attributes, say mail or email address, and then CN or common name, and SM. So we are done in, uh, in this tab. Let's uh, move with the source backend LDAP servers. So this information represents uh, your source backend LDAP server. Uh, here we need to provide the host name and port of your backend directory servers. Uh, we also need to provide binding information and the password uh, for that binding user as well. So let's start. Uh, the name source, it can be anything. Uh, we're giving it uh, it source just to align with the source backend LDAP service tab name. Then the bind DN information. For our case, it's uh, CN equals directory manager. One quick note to mention uh, for bind DN, you might need to provide the full free location of that user which you are going to use as bind DN user. Sp uh, uh, that's uh, specifically true for uh, Active Directory. So max connection might be anything, depends on, on your policy and architecture. Uh, we're giving, giving it three servers. Uh, the host name and port of your backend directory server, our backend LF server is uh, myldap.glue.org 1636, as uh, this one is a SSL port, so we need to enable use SSL button here. Uh, then let's click on bind DN button. Uh, sorry, base DN button. A base DN is where your users are located in your uh, backend directory server. Here, in our case, it's uh, OU calls to people, OU calls to glue. Change bind password. This is the password of your bind DN user. So, okay, so we're done here with this tab as well. INAM LDAP server, you don't need to put anything in, in the INAM LDAP server fields here. The glue server automatically takes this information from your installation and infrastructure. 
this information relates uh, to the LDAP server inside your glue server so let's keep it as it is now let's click on the first tab cache refresh here uh, first of all uh, we're going for the source attribute to destination attribute mapping let's click on, uh, on this button so here on the left hand side you need to put the name of the attribute which is uh, in your backend directory server and on the right hand side uh, the name of the attribute into which we're going to pull the value of that backend directory server information for example if you're using active directory generally it's sam account name and uh, inside glue server uh, it will be uid that means the value of uh, sam account name take the value of sam account name and map it inside here in the glue server with uid attributes that means uh, whatever the value is there in sam account name attribute it will become the value of uid for our case the primary uh, key is uid so uid equals to uid same will go for cn and sn so let's click one more time cn equals to cn that means take the value of cn from backend directory server and put it inside uh, cn attribute of glue server same goes for sn equals to sn all right so we are done uh, with this uh, attribute mapping let's uh, move to polling interval so this is the time interval uh, between two cache refresh cycles so cache refresh automatically runs after a set amount of time to sync your local LDAP server with your backend directory server the standard polling interval is 15 minutes uh, please keep in mind that the larger the search the less often you want to run cache refresh so if you had 2 million users in your database, you would uh, want to run cache refresh less frequently, say every hour or every day. Our test database is small, so we are just uh, putting 5 minutes here. Then server IP address. This is the IP address of your uh, Glue server. That means uh, we need to put the IP address of test.glue.org here. So let's put it. This is the IP address of our uh, of of that VM where test.glue.org is installed. So that's it. Let's uh, let's hit update to save the uh, setup, which we just performed. So now uh, it's time to enable the cache refresh uh, section here. Let's enable it as we provided five minutes uh, here in the polling interval so the cache refresh cycle will begin uh, in five minutes okay so let's check the status uh, of our cache refresh all right great so as you can see updates uh, at the last run 101 so it ran properly now let's search for one user let's see uh, if the user is here and the glue tester which uh, I mentioned earlier glue tester yep it's here so all this information came from our backend directory server So that's it. We're done with uh, with our cache refresh uh, activation, and it ran properly.